Thank you for joining me. My name is Daniela. I'd like to talk to you about Archangel Michael today. And I have a very special close relationship with Michael, but in the past, um, I was a little nervous. <laughs> and if you can see this picture from behind me, maybe you can see why. Like I just found that a very, um, I don't know, intimidating depiction. So I was kind of shy, but yes, I, I believe that um, at a certain point we're taught to um, ask Archangel Michael or thank Archangel Michael for protection. And I find him to be incredibly effective. When I'm driving and the weather is bad, yes, I call upon God, create a source, with the, whatever word you're comfortable with, God, Jesus, um, Archangel Michael, to help, like, right? If it's a really bad, horrendous rainstorm and you're driving through a hurricane, something like that. So I've definitely um, called upon Michael for situations like that with the names that I mentioned to you. A common one is when the airplane, I've been flying since, geez, since I'm like eight years old, something like that. And um, I'm not afraid to fly. But there have been situations where it's gotten quite rough, the turbulence where the, um, the oxygen mass will fall down. Sometimes the overhead open and things start flying out. It's been really bad or dropped. It's been, there have been times where we dropped drastically. Um, so I'm not going to lie, I've had several of those experiences. And one of the things, like just to cut to the chase, I'll just thank them for their help and stabilizing, helping the airplane to go smoothly and stabilizing. And I picture, um, I, it's interesting, I don't try to do this, but often I'm sitting by the wings of the airplane and it's kind of funny because I work closely with the Archangels and I wonder if that's some kind of connection, you know, that I'm just by the wings, you know. Um, the other thing is to help calm myself and to steady the airplane. I like to play around like a scientist, like test things, see if it works. And what has worked effectively for me is seeing an Archangel like Michael and Uriel under the wings of the airplane. And let me tell you, it Every time I do this, it seems to steady out the plane, like the turbulence magically disappears. So I'll take it. Um, but as far as protection goes, like I said, um, to help like with bad weather and everything, um, to protect my children, I'll surround my children. Like if, in general, it's always a good idea, but just say if they're involved in a rough situation and things are hard for little kids nowadays, little kids, middle school, high school, Life has gotten tricky. I don't know if it was always this complicated and I just kind of la 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 went through it. <laughs> Again, we all had our issues growing up, but it doesn't seem as horrific as it does now. So I'll send Archangel Michael with my children, protect them. And one of the coolest things that ever happened, like I try not, in the past, I didn't share these views with um, my children other people like I just kind of kept this stuff to myself as best as I could um, because yeah people will look at you like you're weird um, you're different whatever and most of the time it's they're afraid so I was shocked one day my son was going through a lot of stuff he was a little kid and he actually um, told me I can see Archangel Michael like I, I had always put Michael in their bedrooms to protect them the doorways entrances stuff like that and I felt where Michael was but my son knew it and I didn't know so I said well where is he and he told me exactly the physical location of where I felt Michael and then he needed a glass of water a few minutes later. So we go to get the glass of water. When we came back in, I felt like I walked through Michael's energy or someone's energy at the entrance of the door. So I got back in, talking to my son. And to test him, I said, where's Michael now? Where's Archangel Michael? And he goes, right there. And he pointed um, at the doorway. And I was like, holy cow, this kid can really see him. Then Michael moved back to my left. And my son is looking past me and in his sweetest little voice goes, I like your wings. It was just like so sweet. And I'm like, you could really see him? And he's like, yeah. 
and it was just so cool and I wish that I could see him often outside of my body because there were times that um, when I worked with somebody and I'm like I really want to see them and they're like I show myself to her all the time but it's usually like in my third eye it's in my dreams it's in my meditation it's not like I can see it as clearly as this though I do see spirits that way sometimes um, but that's one thing I would like to open up where I can see them as clearly as I see the next person so I highly recommend building a relationship with them. Um, Archangel Michael is one of the things that he, he, he just made it known to me that he was a loving person. And I do talk like the people, a loving being, protective. And yes, he is the defender of earth, not the only one, um, but he has this joyful, funny, approachable side. But yeah, he kicks ass too. So when you feel threatened and the energy is negative and stuff like that, as you're starting on this path, just call upon Archangel Michael to clear your home, clear the room, protect your loved ones. It's just an easy way to go about your business. So I'm going to be doing more and more um, videos on Archangels and just spiritual things in general. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and if you enjoy just spiritual insights, please follow my YouTube channel. Many blessings to you. If you want a reading, contact me at www.daniellodicastro.com. Many blessings to everyone. Bye-bye.